Matt wrote in with a cool question and said he's in a small business and they spend a lot of time and effort building new internal tools and processes that then nobody uses, right? And uh, I'm sure you feel this pain. It's the same mistake that we fall for when we're building features and products for customers. We, we, we imagine a, a beautiful future where there's no constraints, where there's no pain around learning a new workflow and no trade-offs. And we're only thinking about the good. We're not thinking about what has to be given up. For example, uh, there's so many tools for community builders and I hate them because they all try to tell me the exact workflow that they want me to use from start to finish. And that's hard for me because that means I need to change everything about how I'm currently working. Like for example, if the current workflow involves post-it notes on a shared office wall, there's benefits there, like everyone on the team has visibility, you don't have to remember to go to a website, you don't have to click around, everyone can collaborate. There's a lot of stuff that gets built in for free with, for example, post-it notes on a wall. There's a lot of benefits to something working through a telephone call, you know, and some feedback, you can improvise your way through so the process doesn't need to be that well-defined. When we're building digital tooling, and trying to change workflows, it's like too opinionated. It's not respecting people's current trade-offs and, and, and goals and all of that. And so the, the ultimate question that I'd use to figure this out, is basically the same as my ultimate question for any other cus dev, which is what are we already doing and why are we doing it that way? What else have we tried and why didn't that work? And you try to look at that honestly, and especially internally, I think it's, it's easy to fall into the trap of being very aspirational. It's like, yeah, we're gonna be perfectly organized and we're all gonna follow the process and this and that. And it's like, hey, we're irrational creatures. We, we do stuff in stupid ways sometimes and that's okay. So let's acknowledge that and, and, and let's try to build tooling, the, the simplest, most minimal tooling and processes that, that, that fit inside our, our messy, irrational workflows instead of trying to pretend we're suddenly fully rational robots. Anyway, hopefully that helps, but what are we already doing? Why are we doing it that way? Why haven't we already improved this? Uh, what are the benefits of our current workarounds? Uh, and why did our previous attempts to improve this process not stick?